people do, do not know about parkour, they used to think that it is like jumping from roofs and doing crazy stuff and it is an adventure sport, but it is not actually. This is Mujahid Habib and uh, I am an architect by profession. Right now I am pursuing masters from Jami Mili Islamia in architecture. And I started parkour in 2007. Uh, I started parkour when, you know, I do not know what it actually was. And uh, uh, I got inspired from uh, Jackie Chan. I used to watch his movie with my brother, Tabrez Khan, and uh, my brother used to practice uh, martial art. I joined them and practiced uh, all kind of movements. I love movements actually from starting. And I used to watch uh, gymnastics also in DD National. When I started, we used to jump from uh, like heights on sand and uh, with my some friends, Aman and uh, Hassan. So after some time, uh, a friend of mine showed me this video from YouTube in uh, 2007 and uh, he showed me this uh, video in which people are jumping from roofs and doing flips all over and I was like, okay, wow, this is what we do. And uh, he told me that it is known as parkour. very soon enough and uh, I started teaching parkour and uh, we formed a group. After that we started making videos and uh, uh, some people noticed me and uh, gave me an opportunity to work with them in a movie. Uh, it was my first project in 2009. I got my first project, it was a, a movie, uh, Ladies vs. Vicky Bell. Uh, it is a Yashraj movie and uh, that's how my journey began. Before that, uh, people used to, uh, you know, uh, criticize me a lot and say to me that why are you doing this and uh, uh, well, you may get hurt and you are just doing it wrong and everything, a lot of things. My family is not in support but after this project, uh, all my, you know, problems get, uh, got solved and, uh, you know, they started appreciating this. But still, when we go to some places to practice parkour, people uh, say a lot of things like, why are you doing this, do not do it here, and you may got hurt. They do not know that it requires a lot of discipline, and we practice a lot to, you know, do all those jumps. Recently I started um, training classes in parkour because in India there is no parkour gym or any facility and the, the thing that I love about parkour is that it is for everyone. Even if you do not have any leg or you know don't have any, you know, you're disabled somehow and uh, you want to practice parkour, you are most welcome. We will, you know, uh, we will appreciate your efforts and we will help you. That's the best thing that I love about parkour. It is, uh, you know, it is in parkour, we do not compete with each other, but we compete with ourselves. We want to improve our own skills and become confident. Parkour, actually, uh, there are a lot of things that people do not know. 
uh, they used to people do not know about parkour they used to think that it is like jumping from roofs and doing crazy stuff and it is an adventure sport but it is not actually it is much more kind of discipline it came from a, a very disciplined generate it is a military training method actually and in that you have to train your body is to overcome obstacles and yes there are two terms parkour and free running in parkour we have to overcome obstacles and we have to go from point a to point b in the fastest and efficient way and in free running we have to uh, use our body to create movements and it is more kind of an art Hi, my name is Hassan and I am 29 years of age. I am doing parkour for last 4 years. I am an accountant by profession. I am also a semi qualified chartered accountant and uh, I was overweight around 85 kgs and uh, I used to go parks to run and jump. Then I met Mujahid in a park nearby, Ashoka Park. Uh, he was doing flips with Urfi bhai and uh, I was I didn't knew at the time about parkour anything and then I met him he told me about parkour and then I searched in on YouTube and I found some uh, clips over there and uh, then I started uh, doing parkour doing flips by my own and then I learned back flip and front flip uh, from there and uh, Mujahid helped me a lot in losing my weights also and doing parkour I go park and do jumps. I like just love to jump from everywhere. Uh, even in my office, when I uh, get time in during lunch hours, I go uh, park behind my office and do flips uh, or jumps. My office mates also uh, say me, "Why do you? Uh, why are you doing like that? Like this jumps?" And sometimes they motivate and sometimes they criticize me. why do you, uh, at this age you are doing you are still doing this childish act uh, just i matlab means i want to say that i love this and i am not doing anything rubbish or anything wasting my life this is this is a kind of a part of my life and uh, generally people of my age don't play or uh, don't jump they think that uh, they are professionals and doing jobs so they don't they can't play games uh, there are people who are doing this parkour of my age i just want to say that them that it is not a childish game you can even try this i've lost my weight and i build up confidence many feel just like not in my professional life even in my uh, uh, daily routine work i'm not scared anymore you can say from heights or anybody even i can jump from 10 to 20 feet then there is no need for me to scare to be scared of anybody hi i am urfi khan i i am a, an assistant professor in mechanical engineering i teach mechanical engineering and i started doing parkour like 7 years ago we started our practice and we didn't have any gym so we explored many places and once we joined indira gandhi stadium for gymnastics and there was a summer camp in gymnastics in indira gandhi stadium for gymnastics so we joined it after one month they wanted us to fill the form again so when we went to fill that form they said that okay you are too old to do gymnastics here because there are there is a age limit that you cannot start after 16 and i was 26 at that time so i uh, they said okay the age of starting gymnastics is 6 i said okay i'm 20 years late then so uh, i said okay they can they can take the equipments from us but they cannot take our test passion so i said okay we can build our own gym we'll start with the basics so we started making our gym we uh, usually go to a place near near this place uh, it's uh, reet katira there is a reet katila we practice there on sand and also we have collected some mats for in our gym 
to to try new things parkour for me uh, right now i am an architect by profession so it is not my it is a side hobby actually you can say it is started as a hobby and it became passion slowly and uh, right now uh, it is my side job also uh, i got opportunities to work in uh, many ads and movies and uh, reality shows uh, i worked and i can do that in gtv i coached bani and after that uh, there's an international competition last year uh, ultimate beast master the whole city they they are like okay now uh, in parkour you can go to bollywood some so it was like that and many people joined us and started practicing parkour right now there are like uh, 30 40 guys alone practicing in rampur and uh, in 2012 uh, red bull organized this uh, national competition in which uh, they selected eight athletes from all over the india uh, by selecting videos according to that and uh, from those eight six are from rampur from my team team leo nine and uh, i got first place in that and uh, after that when they heard our story that how there are lo a lot of guys practicing parkour in rampur they wanted to cover it and they made a short documentary on us so it is one of those benchmarks you can say uh, for us it helped us a lot to spread parkour and yes right now also we are like looking to spread all those things through all those documentaries uh, recently i went to this ted talk and uh, give a talk on this parkour how we started and all so yes we all are working uh, there are different uh, teams in different cities right now around the india and we are community where we decide what we can do in future and uh, right now parkour is uh, a recognized sport in, and it is uh, it may be you can see it in, uh, very soon you can see it in olympics also in 2024 or some somewhere around and uh, many countries uh, in many countries it is recognized as sport now people are teaching it in schools and other places hopefully we will uh, be able to get it in india also very soon and teach it on a in a schools and colleges all over in parkour we start from uh, you know we start from soft ground uh, i never got hurt seriously and uh, the reason is because we start from step by step first of all we jump from one foot then say two foot three foot four five and then we eventually jump from 10 feet high uh, you know uh, there is uh, a very strict uh, environment like when we jump from a high on a 3 foot 3 or 4 floor building uh, we practice that jump like 1000 times on ground and uh, it is kind of a very disciplined sport uh, but people do not know uh, that actually and uh, that's what we want to tell them that it is a sport that requires a lot of dedication and hard work to achieve what you want to do everything is possible and uh, some people like uh, they watch videos and uh, they go around and jump from third building uh, third floor three floor building and got injured that is a wrong way to do it because after 10 years right now i am like i practice a lot to you know control my body when i jump i have to like stick it and i have to stay there as long as possible and to control my body and movements and uh, otherwise i may got hurt seriously and that's what we are not aiming for we want it to be safe we want our bodies to be in control and we only check our limits and we usually do not do all those risky things we usually do it for fun and in grass and soft grounds because in on concrete you may like got hurt and injure your knees and everything if you are not trained properly so first first of all we train on mattresses and green Uh, grasses and sand after that only we practice on hard ground
myself Zeba Hussain and I'm doing my masters from Jamia Millia Islamia. Earlier I didn't know about parkour but when I met Mujahid I saw him doing flips and all these stuffs, parkour stuffs basically. So I didn't knew the word parkour but uh, he got me inspired. Also a sports person so I'm very much interested in these parkour stuff so um, I started parkour karna. It's, it's been six months so uh, it's a great sport or parkour mein mujahid ek international player hain to unse seekhna bahut badi baat hai jab maine start kiya karna to logon ne appreciate kiya for sure wo appreciate karte hain but unko koi koi jaise agar hum practically karte hain us cheez ko to thoda criticize bhi karte hain i mean wo bolte hain ki kaise kar rahe hain maan liye but still jab wo ek platform pe aa jate hain ek practice achhi ho jati hai then wo appreciate karte hain sab to it's like sab kar sakte hain mujahid kar sakte hain अगर वो सिखाते हैं तो मैं भी बहुत अच्छा कर सकती हूँ तो सबको लगता है कि मतलब बाहर करती है तो सब देखते हैं कि कैसे क्यों तो बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन जुटते हैं तो एक सिक्योर प्लेस नहीं होती एक्चुअली इंडिया में बहुत प्रॉब्लम है एक इंडोर जिम की पार्कोर जिम की तो हमें क्रिटिसाइज करने वाले बहुत मिलते हैं बट अगर हम ही पार्कोर करेंगे हम इन्वेंट करेंगे उनके लिए अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ तो ये पार्कोर स्पोर्ट बहुत आगे जा सकता है लाइक अलग अलग स्पोर्ट्स में बहुत ज़्यादा रूल्स और रेगुलेशंस होते हैं और दिस स्पोर्ट इज़ समथिंग न्यू समथिंग एक्साइटिंग मी वी क्रिएट आर ओन रूल्स सो दिस इज़ अ बेट एक्साइटिंग स्पोर्ट आई मीन हम बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं इसमें और अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ के नाम पे अगर हम स्कोप की बात करें तो पार्कोर इज़ समथिंग वेरी 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 न्यू इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ गर्ल्स और स्पेशली फॉर गर्ल्स पहले मैं खुद सोचती थी कि हिजाब में बहुत प्रॉब्लम होगी अगर हम करेंगे तो फ्लिप्स वगैरह में स्पेशली बहुत प्रॉब्लम होगी बट ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता मतलब अगर हम ट्रेनिंग लेते हैं हम प्रैक्टिस करते हैं तो बहुत ईजली हो जाता है सारी चीज़ें और हम पार्कोर अब तो वर्ल्ड वाइड फेमस है तो हम यूट्यूब ट्यूटोरियल से हर हर जगह से आई मीन हम बहुत लोग करते हैं पार्कोर इंडिया में स्पेशली बॉयज़ करते हैं तो हम उनसे ट्रेनिंग ले सकते हैं कोई इतना इशू नहीं है कि लड़कियां नहीं कर सकती हैं और हिजाब में लड़कियां नहीं कर सकती हैं एनी वन कैन डू दैट इन एनी इन एनी मटेरियल इन एनी थिंग सो इट्स नॉट अबाउट रिस्ट्रिक्शंस पार्कोर इज आई एम लविंग इट इट्स लाइक यू कैन डू एनी थिंग इन एनी क्लोथ्स दिस इज द बेस्ट थिंग इन पार्कोर इन एनी वेयर स्पेशली इफ आई कैन डू दिस पार्कोर इन स्पेशली इन हिजाब देन यू ऑल्सो कैन डू इट any girl can do it it just needs some motivation some inspiration so go on youtube or some practitioner and you will rock it i i will keep on practicing this sport till my body allows me to and uh, i think i will be doing in, uh, in my 90s or 100s if i may live i will be doing parkour maybe flip sometimes So yeah I think the future is bright and you know I am always like be positive because everything is possible because I never thought that I would be I would be like here after this much time because when I started I was like okay I'm going to just do a flip and I'm doing it for a hobby and it is a, uh, doing it as a hobby and uh, it is something that I love I'm not doing it like I have to get it get something written in written from for this because it gave me so much and uh, uh you know uh, i just want to spread it that's all and yeah if i want to do it professionally it will definitely it will be a good option for me and definitely i want to do it but before that i want to spread it a lot
Tom Hill. 